What's good, you all? It's your boy Tuck, the streetwear savant, back at it again with another sneaker soundtrack for your heads. I hope you're out here staying fresh with no stress in the spooky season. Trick or treat, let me get a couple sneaks, you feel me? And let's get into it. Another sneaker soundtrack, more sneakers, more music. But of course, before we get into all that, make sure you follow, like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube, and make sure you follow on Instagram and TikTok at King underscore Tucker. I repeat, King underscore Tucker. So let's get into it. So for our first sneaker, like I told y'all last month, the hype was gonna go up. Like I told y'all last month, there was gonna be a trip of collaboration in the works. And some people think they fake. Some people didn't think they was gonna come out. People was like, nah, you tweaking. But it came out, honestly, probably the most hype sneaker of the year, to be truly honest with you. And I got it in my hands. And the sneaker we are talking about is the Travis Scott Fragment. Air Jordan 1 Low. Andy on the TV. And there we go, boys and girls. You see it. The Travis Scott Fragment Air Drone 1 Low. You see with the cream, sideways swoosh. Honestly, the best part of this whole entire sneaker. And then you got in the back, the Fragment logo in the back with the Air Jordan in the back. And also a subtle hit, and I'm gonna see if I can get in this camera, is that right here in the middle, you got the Cactus Jack logo in between the swoosh as well. Good materials overall. It's not like a wow, excite me, like premium leather, but like I said, this was the most hype sneaker. A lot of people thought this was fake. A lot of people didn't think it was gonna come out, but it did and it just, the hype was all the way up. Nobody would think a Fragment and Travis Scott, two of the probably the most hype sneaker people of all time would collaborate together. As you can see the barcode right here at the bottom to show the Fragment also as well. And yeah, there you go people. The Fragment, Travis Scott, Air Drum One Low. Let's say that five times fast. So for my personal opinion on the sneaker, honestly, I feel like even though it is a great Air Drone 1 Low and I do not have any Air Drone 1 Lows in my collection, I feel they could have went a little bit harder. I feel like they could have moved it a little more and experimented a little more with this silhouette. I understand the Air Drone 1 High version of this is literally going for probably my rent and my bills all combined. I'm gonna call them the get me out of jail ones because the resale on these is ridiculous. The resale on these lows is crazy as well, but I think they could have went a little harder to be truly honest with you. Um, do I see this thing in my collection for a long time? Like I said, I do not know. I feel like I may use this sneaker as like trade bait for something I really, really want that I missed on in the past, you know? And with some of the resale going like two, three thousand dollars, I feel like this is a very good sneaker to have just to trade so I can get that thing I really want in the future. And come with a blue and cream box with the pink paper on the inside and also pink laces as well. Like I said, this is probably the most hype sneaker of 2021. Now, not the best sneaker, but probably the most hype sneaker of 2021. And for my musical pairing with this, I'm gonna keep the hype going and I gotta go with the Cactus Jack Camp. I'm gonna go with Don Tolliver, Flocky Flocky, featuring the man himself, Travis Scott. Because with Don Tolliver's name, it just surrounds hype. Coming from his mixtape days, everybody's like, okay, when he gonna get big? When he gonna get big? It's like literally a boiling pot in one time. When is it gonna pop off? And with his new album, Life of a Don, I think it finally did pop off for him. He's probably gonna be a staple in the rap game for a very, very long time. And the hype is real with Don Tolliver. As so with these sneakers, the hype is real. Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack is just literally going nuts and staying going nuts for years and years to come. And honestly, like I said, this may hit feet, this may not hit feet, to be honest with you. Cause I feel like with Cactus Jack, he's gonna have way, way more collaborations in. I understand you work with Fragment, legendary name, but I feel there's gonna be better versions of the sneaker coming on the way. So I'm gonna wait on it, I'm gonna sit on it, but the first sneaker, the Cactus Jack, oh Lord, the Cactus Jack Fragment Air Jordan 1 Low. Say that five times fast. <laughs> 
So coming in for the second sneaker, we also have another triple collaboration. Man, I'm gonna probably need some water after this video because I'm saying all these names combined. It's just like, it's a lot of collab, a lot of collabo. But like I said, coming from the campus of Kai with the famous LD waffle that Lily ran 2019, like Lily ran and probably sneak of the year 2019, and they're still going strong today. They have a triple collab with Clot and probably honestly the best color silhouette I've seen on LD Waffle so far, in my honest opinion, we have the Sakai Clot Nike LD Waffle in the Orange Blaze colorway. <laughs> Sakai Clot Nike LD Waffle in the Orange Blaze colorway. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of different materials. We have the snakeskin swoosh along with the, the leather swoosh in the back. Usual Sakai collaboration vibes, you know, the double lacing on the tip all the way through. And what this shoe is inspired by, which I also have in my collection, is the Kiss of Death by Clot, the Air Max One. More famous and notorious in the early 2000s was a sneaker grill for some people and they just literally put that colorway on top of the LD Waffle. Hear me, Harry Suede in the back. Let me get that. Very, very good quality suede in the back. Good quality leather to be truly honest with you for an LD Waffle. Very, very nice. And like the Kiss of Death, we have this transparent mesh up at the bottom. So when you wear these sneakers, for people that have them, make sure you have good socks. Your sock game gotta be on point when you're wearing these. The reason being is because it will show, like Lily, from the tip of the toe all the way to the back. So make sure your sock game on point, you know, LD waffle, bottom at the bottom. Um, yeah, beautiful sneaker, beautiful sneaker in my opinion. A great kind of lifestyle sneaker, walk around sneaker, casual sneaker in my honest opinion. And just to pull it out for comparison, I do have the Nike Air Max One Kiss of Death in the 2021 version. And just to show you what the original silhouette looked like, and then you compare it to the LD Waffle silhouette. Kind of same to same, you know, just different outsole to be truly honest with you, but same exact colorway to be truly honest with you. A little bit different tan on side to side, but you see the inspiration, honestly, with the two of them. You see a big, good inspiration with the two. So, yeah. And coming in your regular regular Nike box, Kai box with a glossy orange on the top. Um, like I said, it's a sleeper pick, to be truly honest with you. Resale is actually very super low and actually close to retail on this. Retail is 170 I believe resale is around 190 right now. And that's something, if you want it right now, I'll pick it up as soon as possible because I feel like next year, the price is going to sneak up. Kind of what I want to give comparison to is the Air Drum 4 Black Cats. When the Air Drum 4 Black Cats re-released in 2019, they were sitting. They were sitting in foot lockers. They were sitting in finish lines. They were sitting everywhere. And you could, some places, even the Nike factory store, you can get them on sale. And now, if you look at the resale price of the Black Cats now, they're going for five or $600. So please, people, do not make the same mistake on these sneakers. Because I feel like this is going to go the same exact way. If you can get them now, get them now. And coming from the camp of Sakai and Clyde, elegance is his number one importance and number one priority with both of these companies. And for that, it influenced my music pick for the sneaker as well. Because with the artist, I think elegance is the number one name and smoothness is the second game, you feel me? I'm going to pick Snow Allegra, Temporary Highs in the Violet Sky as a musical choice that pairs with the sneaker. With Snow's music, you know it comes with an elegant, relaxed type of feel. Like, honestly, I may believe she's today's version of Shy Day. You just know you had a long day of work. You just want to relax, have a glass of wine, chill. And it's that smooth, good stuff snows that person and with this sneaker i feel like this is a very smooth sneaker somewhere i mean business but i like to be swaggy at the same time too so with that two musical pairing you're gonna be undefeated you're gonna be walking on clouds literally this is a very comfortable sneaker so snow allegra and sakai clot nike ld waffle the perfect combination Coming in with the third sneak on the roster, we have yet another collab, man. October has been full of collaborations, man. So much working together. But this has come from the LA-based company, Undefeated. And their whole concept for this was, what's better, the Nike Dunk or the AF1? Some will agree with Nike Dunks. Some will agree with Air Force Ones. But 
hey, it's one of those things that may never be solved through time. But there was one colorway that stuck out to me the most, and it was the Nike Dunk Low Undefeated Triple Black Colorway. <laughs> people coming in with the concept of i got five on it you literally see five different materials used on not only the dunk lows but also the air force ones as well as we see right here we got that bovine hair that cow hair swoosh feels nice to the touch we also got the suede right here on the on the midsole right here we got the new buck on the front and then on the other side let me turn this around we have the good leather on the other side Coming in with the icy blue swell, which I think is a significant good touch. Now, I understand people think this is an all black dunk low, bland, boring, so on and so forth. But I have seen a lot of pics on Instagram of people making this fly, making this work. And I think this is something you can easily work with. Um, honestly, something to skate in very well too. Triple black, simple to the point. Probably this is going to become my everyday sneaker, to be truly honest with you. As you can clearly see, let me get to the other side. We have the undefeated logo right here. Um, and yeah, honestly, there ain't that much to say about this. Five different materials, beautiful sneaker, undefeated, knocked it out of the park like they always do. And yeah, nice sneaker, very nice sneaker. And even though this is the more simplistic pair out of the whole entire collection, honestly, this may be the most limited out of them, which is the reason why resale prices are a little bit high, not crazy, around 230 240 on StockX and on GOAT. But, hey, this is one definitely to cop. Like I said, this is going to be my everyday sneaker. And based on the concept, I got five on it. You literally getting five different materials on this end. Five can be a lot for a designer, man. You may not work together, may not cooperate, but for this sneaker, it worked perfectly with it. Um, so for my musical choice, along with it, since it got five on it on the sneaker, I had to go with I-5 on it by Lunas. Honestly, the 90s banger and most notably used in Jordan Peele's Us, I Got 5 on it is a street album, um, a little bit of swagger, your road trip go-to when you rolling down the street slow, on the side, on the block. And... You know, I do love the sneaker very, very much. It's giving me black Air Force One activity vibes. Little aggressive, little root to it. So I kind of, kind of tell you those two tracks together just to give you that little, uh, that little swag, a little dust off your shoulder feel to it. And like I said, it's an outstanding track, gonna stand the test of time. And this is, like I said, an everyday sneaker. You can rock this with literally anything and everything and it's gonna work with it too. So. Musical choice with the undefeated Nike Dunk Triple Black, I Got Five on it is I Got Five on it by Lunas. So now after all that black AF1 activity, I'm bringing a little color palette back in. You know, I had a little brighten it up a little bit. So for this next sneaker, it was actually a very delayed sneaker. It was supposed to come out for the Olympics last year, but you know, due to COVID, the pandemic, stuff got de delayed. And with a lot of sneakers right now, they're getting delayed as well. But this is a pickup I finally made. When I first saw it, I knew I had to get this sneaker no matter what the cost. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sneaker. And this sneaker is the Nike SB Dunk Low FTC in the Goon Pulse colorway. <laughs> the nike sb dunk low ftc lagoon pulse colorway it is a beautiful 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 sneaker man as you can see it is inspired by japanese bathhouses and you can clearly see that through the whole entire sneaker as you see in the white it is a tiled white leather to show off the bathroom walls of course of the bathhouse a teal blue suede very smooth to the touch as well to show the water and then if you have the silver swoosh a good significant part and then on the inside you have that very comfy comfy suede in the in the inside and you know this is a sb dunk low not a regular dunk low so you got the chunky tongue with ftc on the logo but like i said 
Icy Blue Soul. This is a beautiful sneaker, man. A very beautiful sneaker. Like I said, I had to do whatever it took, go through all the raffles, do whatever I had to do to get this sneaker. And I'm so very happy this is in my collection and it will stay for a very, very, very long time. And also FTC on the back as well. Beautiful, beautiful sneaker. Like I said, it was originally supposed to launch during the Olympics, but like I said, everything got delayed along with this release. It got delayed as well. But like I said, probably top five sneakers of this year for me, in my honest opinion. For some, may differ a little different, but hey, I love sneaker. It's dope. Nothing more to say. And quite honestly, what I really do like about the sneakers, like the subtle things you see once you receive the sneaker, like on the back, you do have a Japanese symbol and you think it's ripped. And I'm like, oh, hold on, quality control messed up my dunk. Don't do not do that to me. But in all honest opinion, this is what's on every single sneaker. Just to symbolize the opening of the flaps of the bathhouse is when you go in and go out. Little things, people, little things which can make a sneaker go from, oh, this is a decent sneaker to something that's extremely unique. It's always the little things. Um, like I said, dope sneaker. Um, I do not know if I'm going to wear this, even though fall time in Chicago is getting a little bit colder and, you know, it start raining more, snowing more. So I may save this for the spring, next spring. Keep it fresh. Keep it on ice. But yeah, dope sneaker. And to mess with that, with the musical choice I'm going with is kind of an OG in the rap game who makes his love for sneakers very known in his bars. And it is Wale for Lauren too. Like, come on, y'all. Y'all know Wale the artist, man. If you know him very well, you know he absolutely loves and adores sneakers. And his two favorite silhouettes are the New Balance and the Nike Dunk. As you can trace it all the way back to his debut album and his mixtape, he always mentions at some point about a Nike Dunk Low, a Nike Dunk High, or the New Balance. And it did not stop at all with this current album for Lauren, too. As you can see with the first track, New Balances, Tiffany, Nikes as well. Like, he is a sneaker OG for real. And his collection is very, very deep. So, to come for this classic Nike SB Dunk Low, I had to give it to the OG, bro. Like... One thing I will say about Wale, he is a very consistent artist. Not saying he puts out Grammy Award winning albums or nothing like that, but you already know what you're going to come into when you come into a Wale album. You already know you're going to hear some smooth stuff, some good lyricism. It's going to be consistently good. I have not heard a bad Wale album yet. So for my musical choice with the Nike SB Dunk Low FTC Lagoon Pulse, I'm going with Wale for Lauren 2. Two OGs working together. And for the final sneakers, a sneaker soundtrack of October. Yes, I said sneakers. I cheated a little bit. We have an exclusive pack from Nike. You know, this is a very, very special sneaker to my heart and also to the community it represents as well. Beautiful sneaker. Their company is killing it all through 2021. I'm talking about the social status, Nike Dunk, and the strawberry milk and chocolate milk colorway. <laughs> Today, what I'm going to start off with is the chocolate milk first. As you can see, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dunk. And I'm going to say this now. This is a Nike dunk, not a dunk mid. I know a lot of people saying like, oh, why is it a mid? Why is it a mid? No. Based on his interview on Nike sneakers, he said this is a custom cut Nike dunk. So no, this is not a mid. As you can see, you kind of see the lighter slope at the bottom. If this is a mid, straight leg slope. So. Going into it, a very, very special colorway, the baby blue, I saw at the bottom, sexy. And then, honestly, my favorite part is the gel swoosh. Kind of touch it, feel it, and then symbolizes the milk. And it's a risk to take, but it was a beautiful risk. And if you ever wonder, hey, what are the materials on this sneaker? Bam. It literally shows you all the ingredients, quote unquote, like milk. Um, you have the YY Velvet, the New Buck, the Suede. Man, I like, honestly, when I first got the sneaker to be, it gave me Strange Love vibes. And y'all know the Strange Love SBs that are going for Buku money is giving me that type of vibes, to be truly honest with you. You got Suede on, you got 
velvet on the midsole, velvet on the foot, and then you got leather on the out part and then leather right here on the side with the rope laces, the, the chocolate brown rope laces on the chocolate milks. Like I said, a very, very, very beautiful sneaker. Got the pink tab at the back. And then as you go more in depth with this, you have, hold on, let me get it for y'all. You have the social status. Let me get it zoomed in. Bam. You have the Nike social status tag. And like I said, be very careful when you get your pair because this can rip off if you mess with it too much. And why is it a ticket? There's more symbolic reason for that. In this, in the Black Panther starting out in 1960 and 70, there was a free lunch program that which got installed into schools for free lunches. And in order to redeem your free lunch, you had to bring a ticket. So this is the reason why you have a ticket for the tag up in the front. So seeing the chocolate milks, beautiful, beautiful colorway. Now let's switch to the strawberry milks. And here we go, the strawberry milk colorway, which came after the chocolate milk. Um, like I said, you got the pink velvet on the toe. Basically, the materials got switched from the chocolate to strawberry milk. So like I said previously for the chocolate, there was velvet right here. Now you have that leather right here. And then instead of the leather that was on the outside of the toe, now you have that velvet. So basically a, sw a switch between the chocolate and milk on the materials. Um, like I say, we have right here the gel swoosh, but instead of the pink, we have actually, if you dig in very deep, you see a milky animation within the gel swoosh, which I think is very, very cool. Some will say if it's strawberry milk, why isn't it strawberry milk? But hey, I got what he was trying to do. Uh, instead of the baby blue also, you have the baby blue inside the guts, an olive green also, um, kind of people are 50, 50 on it. People are trying to figure out why is there olive green at the bottom, but I don't mind it that much, to be truly honest with you. You have the velvet eyelets, the rope laces that are pink as well. And instead of the green tag, you have a red tag as well. And yes, there's meaning behind that because even though the chocolate milk had the free ticket, lunch ticket, this is the reduced fare ticket. So you paid for your elementary school lunch, middle school lunch, high school lunch, you paid a reduced fare and you had to give the red ticket in order to do that. So like I said, it shows you all the materials like it did on strawberry milk right here showing the wide wide velvet the leather the new buck and bomb sneaker my opinion bomb sneaker um it does come with a cream sickle like flat laces but like i said the rope laces honestly do it justice to be truly honest with you um yeah strawberry milks everybody strawberry milks fire 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 sneaker and like i said before this sneakers have very historical significance in the 1960s the black panther party installed a free lunch program through all of its chapters which means kids from elementary school all the way to high school were able to come and get lunch when honestly they couldn't afford to get lunch at home and luckily later on in time the congress installed that free lunch program would go into schools nationwide so for kids who are unable to afford the full price lunches during elementary school middle school and high school they were able to enroll in this program in order to a get free lunch or b get reduced lunch fare so as a recipient of that program i gotta give a special 100 percent nod to this because he literally hit it to the t and something that was pictured in all the slow-mo videos of this video was the box itself. The box is like a whole nother video in itself. So much symbolism as to symbolize a milk carton you would get at elementary school with the maze on the side, the whole facts of the whole entire sneaker or the carton of milk, the hole to punch in at the top, and just honestly, it looks very old school, very vintage, and they knock the box out of the park. And once you take the shoes out and you pull out the paper, you get a whole lunch schedule on the paper. And at the bottom, you see the spot of a lunch tray with the milk, of course, for the strawberry and chocolate milks. And like I said before, honestly, in my opinion, it's not sneaker of the year, but it definitely has a special place this year because in order for James Whitner and social status to put this together, put the campaign together, it was a beautiful campaign to symbolize not only the upbringing he came from, just to symbolize the whole program itself and give a nod to us, the black people, for bringing a program that helps thousands to millions of kids around the United States. Now, I know it may be a little bit different now why it hits a little bit harder home due to COVID. Kids weren't able to go back to school. And if kids aren't able to go back to school, the free lunch program kind of went invalid or non-void during that year. So kids went hungry during that. And this is why these sneakers hit a whole lot more harder for me and why that program is so very important to this day. To this day, to this day, to this day. 
So, which sneaker do I like better? Hmm. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Even though I think the chocolate milks do have way more wearability, I'm going to have to go with the strawberry milks. And the primary reason why is just the velvet on the toe is just... It's just a touch. It's just like, it's some like fancy. Like I ain't never called a dunk fancy, but this to me is a fancy dunk to be truly honest with you. Uh, very, very, very beautiful. And especially with like, the orange on the inside of the creamsicle. It's one of them nice dunks. Not saying the chocolate milks ain't gonna get walked through. Like ch chocolate milk's gonna get the mileage too, you feel me? But strawberry milks, I think is my favorite out of this pack. I know a lot of people said they had quality issues, especially around the toe. For the velvet, um, like cutting in and kind of dying and messing up the front of the sneaker. But so far, my pair, I've not witnessed that yet. Um, but yes, my track, my musical choice for this is Everybody Got Sunshine by Roy Ayers. A classic, classic track from the 60s. Just to honestly give you back that summertime feel, that childlike feel. Um, with so many different nods to these sneakers, like the cell day, like it's milk. There's so many little hidden gems within the sneakers where... It's beautiful and kind of just brings back to them childhood days of like going to summer school, getting the free lunches, playing outside. It's just, it brings back all them times, the wonderful times. And I know with adulthood, we be forgetting about that, paying the bills, worrying about our jobs, our nine to fives. And sometimes you just got to sit back and relax and reminisce on these times. And these dunks help me reminisce about that time plenty. Um, beautiful sneaker, beautiful job, Whitaker Group, beautiful job, James Whitner. Y'all killed it. Y'all knocked out the park. And that is all, folks. I hope y'all do well. Have a blessed and safe Halloween out here. Trick or treat. Get all the candy you got. And just make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as always, to YouTube. Follow your boy on Instagram and TikTok at King underscore Tucker. And like I said, November's going to be a banger, too. Complex Con coming up. So many conventions. And you know you got your boy got to pick up sneakers. You already know this. So be blessed. Stay fresh with no stress. This is Tuck. This is Q&K. Much love. Peace. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine.